In this video, I want to do some achieved question um, which could be asked at level 2 NCA. So let's start with the first question. Uh, solve. Solve for x. So all these questions are solved for x. So let's say question A uh, is a log base 2 of x is equal to 20. So to solve for x, uh, basically you have to find the value of x. So from the log form, using the log rule or the basic rule, writing this in the exponent form, this means 2 raised to 20 is equal to x. And that's your answer. OK, so let's make up. Uh, let's do one more question or else. What happens if it is log base x of phi is equal to, say, 2? Well, the same rule. Uh, writing this in the exponent form, this means x squared x, so that you, what you do is this raised to this is this. So x squared is equal to 5. So well, x is equal to root 5. Now you can't write plus or minus root 5 because log of a negative number is not defined. Okay, and that's all. So x is root 2. Okay, so what if you have, say, uh, 8 raised to x is equal to 5. Now this is in the exponent form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take log on both sides. To write this, to solve this, you have to use log. So this implies taking log on both sides. Log of 8 raised to x is equal to log of 5. Now applying the log rule, let me write the log rule. The log rule is like this. <coughs> log of any base or log of x to the power n is n log x. This is the log rule. Log of x to the power n is n log x. So using this rule, here I can say, well, this is x times log 8 is equal to log 5. Now I'm going to divide both sides by, I want to cancel this log 8, and log 8 is is multiplied to x. So this is x times log 8. So I'm going to divide both sides by log of 8. So if I divide this side by log 8, I have to divide this side by log 8. Now one thing that you should not do is you should not cancel the logs and logs. Log 5 and log 8 are one expression. Okay, You can't cancel log and log and say 5 divided by 8. Okay, So this and this gets cancelled. So you can say x is log 5 divided by log 8. So let's let's get the answer and then make sense of the answer back in the question. So get my calculator out. Okay, so go to menu, run, and then go log 5 divided by log 8, which is 0. Point. This is the value. So let me write that. So I'll save it. So x is 0 0.77. OK, what was the answer? So 7739, it goes on. So 39. Now to check your answer, what does this answer mean? This answer means, if you want to write this in 2dp, this is 0 0.77 in 2dp. So this means, 8 raised to whatever x, so let's call that answer, should give you 5. So let's check this on the calculator. So if you go 8 raised to answer, so if you use this caret key, so I'll do 8 raised to answer, you can go like this, shift answer, 
should give you exactly 5. Okay, and that's your answer. So, this is how you can check your answer. Okay, so let me do one more. Let's do some questions on exponents, powers and exponents. Okay, so what if, suppose you have to simplify, so now question 2 is to simplify. So basically, to achieve level NCL level 2 algebra, I would say if you know how to simplify and solve, you can pass. So simplify and write as simplify and write as positive indices. Simplify and write as the question is you want to write as positive indices. That's I'm not writing the whole question. So the question is like this cube root of x raised to 5 minus square root of x cube. Okay. So this, to write this, let me use a green color. So the rule is uh, nth root of x raised to say m is same as x raised to m raised to 1 over n. So this simplifies to x raised to m over n. So basically this is two rules. <coughs> so the basic rule is, suppose, okay, let me write the basic rule. The basic rule is nth root of x is same as x raised to 1 over n. This is the basic rule. And then you've got the power of power rule, x raised to m <coughs> raised to n, raised to n is x raised to m times n, which you can write as m n. So what I've done here is, I've used two rules, so nth root of x raised to m is x raised to m raised to 1 over n, n, and m times 1 over n is m over n. So, how, how would I simplify this? So, this is the same as x raised to 5 raised to 1 over 3 minus, this is x cube raised to half. Square root means raised to half and cube root means raised to one third. Okay. Now, those are not those who are struggling with multiplying fractions and integers. You can use the calculator. 5 times 1 over 3 is 5 over 3. Take away x raised to 3 half. And this you can't simplify any further, and this is your answer. Okay. So this is say question number A. So let's do question B. One more question. What if you have 2x cubed y raised to negative half? Okay, so here you have to use this rule, power of power, you have to multiply. So 2 has a power of 1, y has a power of 1. So you have to multiply this negative 2 to each of this power. So this becomes 2 raised to negative 2. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, times x raised to negative 6, times y raised to negative 1. Now, we have to use this rule, x raised to negative n is 1 over x raised to n. So if you have a negative index, it flips the expression or the power it flips, and it becomes 1 over x over n. So applying this rule, I can say, well, this will become 1 over 2 squared times 1 over x raised to 6 times 1 over y. So this is 1 quarter times 1 raised to 1 over x raised to 6 times 1 over y. You can leave this as this, 
or you can multiply the top and the multiply the bottom so the simplified answer is 1 over 4 x raised to 6 y is your final answer